I'm uh, Pete Vambadaf from Vambadaf Dairy. We've been uh, in Carrington since 2008. We started milking in 2009 and we're currently milking uh, about 1,300 cows three times a day. Uh, we're originally from the Netherlands. We uh, moved to Canada in 2001 and we, uh, my dad and my grandpa have been fen drivers their whole lives. We've had only fence for 35 years. When we moved to Canada, my dad wanted to take a fence with him, of course, so we uh, traded ours off and we bought this one right here, took it with us uh, overseas, and then when we moved here to North Dakota in 2008, this tractor came along with us, along with uh, one more, and since then we've We've bought a couple more, and we're we're pretty passionate about Fent, and we uh, love the tractors. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, Fent tractors, and we've been Fent for a pretty long time. My dad's always had Fent, and for us, it's it's pretty simple. The tractor needs to start at five in the morning, 365 days out of the year. The cows have to be fed, and we feel that with Fent, they they start up every morning, and they're about as efficient as any other tractor around. We, we save a lot of fuel compared to the competition with, with our fence and they're easy to use once you get the hang of it, once you know where everything is, they're it's the easiest tractor to use around if you ask me. I guess reliability for us is huge. We put eight hours a day on our uh, tractor in front of the feed wagon 365 days of the year. It's got to start when it's negative 40. It's got to start when it's 100 degrees in the summer. And I guess the second is the, just the fuel efficiency. We've, we've uh, calculated it out before and we even have uh, relatives that recently switched over from John Deere to Fender. My uncle said he was he couldn't believe how little trips he was making to the fuel pump compared to his John Deere. And just, I guess that's for us makes a big deal because we're putting so many hours on the tractors. Uh, my name is Cody Knutson. I'm a customer sales rep for Butler Machinery in Jamestown, North Dakota. Well, a couple of years ago, the dairy purchased a 900 series fent from us, um, and we had been doing some work on something else a few months ago, so I went back to look at service history and just noticed that we hadn't been doing any work to their tractor, so I wanted to make sure everything was all right and was okay with it, and they said they had no problems with it, and I believe that was at $3,200 in two years with on their machine. Yeah, especially nowadays with uh, electronics and newer equipment, um, we see you can see a little bit of glitch in a few machines every once in a while. Um, it's very good to see this vent not cause, not having any problems um, and just being a reliable tractor to go out and work every day.